بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله we are continuing with our growth model G R O W T H now we are in the tactics and tools uh, uh, part of growth alright so I'm to recap and give you another tool. This is called PDCA Virtual Cycle. This is a very simple tool where you train and help your coachee, even yourself, your family, and so on. You can teach even children this PDA cycle, PDCA cycle because we use this a lot in teaching, for example, organization of life or organization of uh, tools, organization of uh, workflow in production, and so on. So, this is one of the QCC tools which is very relevant in terms of how we can move away from a disorganized life that caused failure so if you have a disorganized life what you do what happened to you is your life is just jagged here there nowhere it just has no purpose no cycle so this is failure so a lot of people they do not have the plan they do not do they do not check they do not act so this is a virtuous cycle everything that you want to do in life all right for yourself for your coachy for your family for your children for everything it goes through a very natural cycle this natural cycle of what we call the virtuous cycle of excellence eh? or of achievement of of success whatever you want to call it eh? but it is a cycle because you go one cycle and there's never ending process one cycle is pdca so the cycle begins with if from a disorganized life to an organized person who wants to achieve something who wants to overcome the challenges in life the problems as i've mentioned earlier on whether it's a problems psychological problems whether it is anxiety whether it is depression whether it is family problem whether it is weight problem whether it's addiction so many of the things that we are facing in the modern world today have weakened the ability for us to organize our life because every moment of our life is a destination our life is like we're working on walking on a okay they have this automated uh, walk walk uh, elevators right they just go straight at the airport you go they have you start you jump all right so the moment you're born onto this earth you're already on a walk later all right this walk later you walk and you go through life all right whether you're a kid or not and then it just take you along but if you have no sense of purpose or meaning all right you do not know where you are going to all right and then when the walk a little reach the end you just stop that's the end of your life so this is the problem with a lot of people they go through pain they go to suffering they go to frustration they go to anguish they go to depression anxiety ocd adhd you name it every facet of life that actually does not give them a sense of being a human being uh, that can achieve some form of success so failure in life is failure to plan all right people who fail to plan will have failure in life so you fail in life is because failure of to plan so we start with planning so you got to teach some basic tools of planning which i have given to you a lot you know 5w2h and uh, uh, for example SWOT analysis strength weakness or, or, or uh, opportunity threat analysis and so on which i've given to you in the past all right so you teach the coach to plan for example plan their day all right so every day you just cannot work on your whim and fancy okay you whim like for example uh, like you are an employee you cannot just wave, wave on your whim and fancy okay don't go to work you have a routine so a routine is very important all right the same thing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained us five times daily prayer that is a routine we cannot say uh, you know oh you know uh, you know another day so that's where your commitment would be then become and dull because you do not plan you plan to fail so to plan to succeed you must start with the planning so you give them small goals huh? remember in psychology in our book we have one chap uh, one area which we call the shaping process huh? this is where we shape a person to do something 
small steps in which it will not be something burdensome to them so they plan their day so for example if they they are obese they want to lose weight so they plan you teach them to plan okay why not you start to do something at home by doing some stretching exercise maybe running on the spot so it's not something that you have to wear your shoes walking shoes or running shoes and put on your uh, you know track suit whatever it is no need you can start with small all right so you teach them how to plan so oh i have no time so you then you track down their time okay they wake up quite early in the morning they have about 10 minutes before they have to have their bath and then plan to go to work so that 10 minutes can be used to just stretch and then do some exercise and now you have this rubber uh, expander and so on which you can pull and then stretch your leg and so on and you can help actually tone your muscle all right so that is basically a first step uh, in terms of losing weight so that is the first step then you do so you plan to do walking on the exercise you teach them okay from 7 to 7 10 before you get ready for your work uh, just after your earlier breakfast you do your you plan to do that 10 minutes walk all right uh, or 10 minutes walking on the spot or stretching exercise then you do when you do then you check okay you check all right oh i've done this okay then you check whether the thing that you do is the 10 minutes that you have done okay so if you, you you need two minutes then it is not the 10 minutes that you have have agreed upon then you act to do the 10 the 10 minutes so complete it in the 10 minutes so within one cycle you have the feedback loop all right you plan you do during the, what you're doing you check whether you complete your commitment for the first step then you check and then you act all right so plan do check act and you complete the 10 minutes congratulate yourself give yourself some uh, motivation alhamdulillah today i have done 10 minutes of on the spot walking it's not very difficult then your next task will be then you got to go to plan at another level so this is level one this is level level one of pdca so next week you want to go to level two and then level three and so on so this is the never ending cycle of pdca plan do check act plan please plan do check act plan do check act. and if you can use these tools to do to achieve anything in life your goal to become uh, uh, successful in your exam your goal to become a professional accountant your goal to have a family life you have to have your plan your family so go back to the same situation that i was telling you just now that level one this lady who wants to lose weight so you have given her the tools for her to spend 10 minutes and level two then she will have to adjust okay yeah, we've got to find some time maybe in the morning is not suitable maybe she does the morning exercise by why not in the evening because there's a lot of traffic jam instead of going home straight away why not she bring her track suit and again uh, while uh, you know when everybody rush on the highway to go home she just go to the gym which is just next to the office so there are commercial gym and a lot of officers they have gym so you can do 30 minutes workout in the gym so level two would be then you plan for her to do the gym 30 minutes eh? from 30 minutes she will try to do maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes. Ah, i'm tired no i don't feel like doing it so she have to check all right maybe one or two times it's all right but then okay my commitment is 30 minutes and then you check try to do 30 minutes and then act again and then once you finish level two you maintain consistency and then you go to level three level four and this is a perpetual cycle the virtual cycle of success so this is where you have success success in this world success in the hereafter whatever goals whatever achievement that you want to do so as a life coach you must master this skill eh? this pda side it is just a mental picture only what did i plan what did i commit to then i do i check internal you're using your inner speech did i did i do what i committed to do all right oh i have done it uh, 10 minutes no it's not five minutes 10 minutes then i act on it again to make sure it's 10 minutes all right then i go to the second level so each and every level is a progression towards success so rome is not built in a day success is not built in a day either so this journey of iman islam and ihsan this journey of being a wonderful human being to achieve sa'ada, happiness, fulfillment, success 
in whatever field that you desire Allah is ever willing to give you but you must plan not to fail but plan to succeed so it's a very simple tool remember PDCA cycle plan do check act then achieve that goal maintain that goal go to the second level plan do check act okay then you go to the second level maintain it keep it for one week two weeks or two, whatever the time you give yourself your time don't have to rush eh? you are not in an olympics to win any medal it is your way of organizing your life to be an organized person and if you can have your time for each and every one of your activities eh, surely the path to success will be much easier and with the grace and the mercy of Allah you will be able to do it so but while you're doing this there are always a lot of Islamic principles that you can do for example you can do your dua you can ask Allah using his asmal husna to help you to have the discipline uh, you can ask Allah to open the gate of success uh, and whatever it is so if your plan is to get higher salary or to start a business uh, as you are doing this you are tackling this then you can uh, ask Allah for help in your dua, in your sujood, tahajjud, uh, in the sujood, uh, for example, uh, uh, you're, you're asking for istikhara and niyah for uh, barakah, you can also do in terms of asmal husna. So, for example, like for myself, when I'm facing a lot of challenges in terms of uh, the financial resources for me to do my work, so I'll just say, constantly as I'm trying to do whatever that is need to be done for the business I mean meeting the people the contact and so on so my heart will always be saying Ya Allah Ya Fattah Ya Razak Ya Allah Ya Fattah Ya Razak Ya Allah Ya Fattah quietly in my heart I say Ya Allah you are my Lord you are the opener of the gate of total success you are the bestorer of uh, a pardon risky which has no limit uh, because Allah ordained upon if you seek his gift of goodness in this world and goodness hereafter Allah tells us in the Quran uh, there is no limit uh, when Allah gives his grace his mercy his abundance his risky he will give it to such an extent that you cannot count there's no way that you can count the blessings the barakah the risk that is ever flowing in your way and always we live in Iman, Islam and Islam always in gratitude what Allah has given you whatever little however difficult however challenges those are part and parcel of life but because we have a meaning and purpose and because we know that we have to plan to succeed we use this tool program our mind plan to check act and inshallah you are on your way to succeed for yourself teach your children teach your friends teach your coachy apply this in your own life and see the miracle of success by the grace and the mercy of Allah inshallah remember we are here to plan for success as a caliph of Allah his vice on this earth all is striving to make ourselves good helping others to be good and making the world good